Well, good afternoon. I hope you've had a good day, that you've been reading your Bible and praying for the church and for your family, praying that God will help you to be a good Christian and praying for the missionaries and praying that we can come to church soon. Let's pray now that the Lord will help us to learn from this story about a pink pig. Now that's a piggy bank that a little girl uses to help missionaries around the world. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would help us to learn from this story in the Bible verses to love you and serve you and please you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, let's see if we can look at the song then. Jesus loves even me. I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. In the Bible, he tells of his love. And that makes us love Jesus. Can you sing that with us? I am so glad that our Father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. Though I forget him and wander away, still he doth love me wherever I stray. Then his dear loving arms I would be when I remember that Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me. 1 John 3, 1. Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed on us, that we should be called the sons of God. Can you say 1 John 3, 1? Behold what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. We talked about that verse last night in Spanish in the family devotional, and now you can see that it's a promise that God has let us be his sons, be called sons of God, when we believe in the Lord Jesus, that he loved us enough to die for us and pay for all of our sins, then the Father gives us the promise that he'll love us and call us his children. Well, today we're going to look at a story called The Pink Pig. What a strange story name it has but it's a really good story for each of us to learn how to serve Jesus. Pinky was a pig. Pinky was pink in color, not at all like the other pigs. Pinky had little, little eyes, which looked a good deal like dark, shiny beads. Pinky had a funny, short, curly tail and a funny snoot nose. He wore a ribbon around his neck he was very fat. He never got any fatter, although he did grow heavier and heavier each time he was fed. Now, Pinky was not like most pigs. Pinky belonged to a little girl named Susie. Pinky, Susie said Pinky winked one beady eye at her sometimes. Susie said Pinky twitched his short curly tail when he was very happy, just sometimes. And Susie thought Pinky grunted, thank you, through this funny snoot nose when she fed him. If Pinky did all those things, he did them for Susie only, because no one else ever saw or heard him. But then Pinky was not like other pigs. He was not at all like other pigs who lived in the pig pens. Pinky's home was right on top of Susie's desk in her bedroom. When Susie fed Pinky, she fed him coins instead of corn. The coins were mostly pennies and nickels. Susie fed Pinky through his back, never, never through his mouth. No, Pinky was certainly not like other pigs. He did not eat through his mouth. He never twitched his tail, not really. He never winked his funny little eye, not really. She just believed and 
wanted to think that he did, and he never grunted, thank you, through his nose, through his snoot, well, not really. Pinky was not a real true pig at all. Pinky was a piggy bank, but he was a special piggy bank. Pinky had something special to do, and Susie, his owner, was a rather special girl. Susie had been taught that she and all Christians should give to the Lord Jesus a part of whatever money they received each week. Susie knew whenever she gave money to missionaries, or anyone who spent their lives preaching and teaching God's word, that she was really giving to God. So she decided she was going to give God one penny and keep nine out of every 10 cents she received. We call that a tithe, 10% when you give one penny and you get to keep nine, but you want to give Jesus some. Susie earned 75 cents every week. So she gave one cent out of every 10 from her 75 cents. That meant she'd have to give seven and one half cents. And no one can do that, Susie thought. So she asked her big brother what to do. I can't give seven and a half cents because I can't divide a penny in half. He said, why not give? a little bit more than one out of 10. You don't have to, of course, but do you remember a Bible verse in 2 Corinthians 9, 7? It says, every man, according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Susie, God has given you a whole lot. He gave you his own son to die for you. You can show your love for him by giving to him. If you give him eight cents, you would still have 67 cents for yourself. But remember, how you give may be more important than how much you give. So whatever you decide to give, make sure you give it regularly and cheerfully. All right, Susie determined. I'm going to give him eight cents a week. Do you mean that? Yes, I do. That's a promise to God, and I'm going to keep that promise. And so when Susie received 75 cents, she went straight to Pinky singing, Give, give, give. The Bible says to give. Your service true and money too that boys and girls might live. How much to give with open hand for Jesus' sake. Give all you can. Oh, who will give? Oh, will you give? Give, give, give. She listened to the clink when the money hurt the bottom of Pinky's fat tummy. Then she gave him a pat. It must have been at such times Pinky winked his bright beady eye at her. At least she thought he did twinched his funny little tail and grunted, that is, if he ever did those things, because Susie wanted to think that he did. One day, a missionary from India came to Susie's Sunday school class. She told the boys and girls about other boys and girls who always went to sleep hungry because their parents did not have enough money to buy the food they should have. It isn't easy to tell boys and girls that Jesus loves them when they are hungry, she said. We like to give them extra things too. We give them rice cakes when we have enough money to buy the rice. She stopped speaking for a moment. Susie thought the missionary had something in her throat. She did not know the missionary choked up a little because she was trying not to cry. Then the missionary says, of course, you realize we are able to be there to teach them about the Lord Jesus because Christians send us there by giving their money to pay our way and pray for us so that we can tell the people of India that Jesus loves them and died for them 
and that that's the most important thing we have to tell. But we also like to tell them that boys and girls in other countries love them. After listening to the missionary tell about hungry boys and girls in India, Susie began putting more coins in Piggy's back, and he got heavier and heavier. He also got more pats from Susie. And then Pinky noticed he was not getting as many coins fed to him. Payday came and went, but he didn't get any heavier. He did not get any little pats from Susie. One day, he was turned upside down by Susie. She shook him and shook him and shook him until several coins fell out. There, Susie was saying, now, with this 25 cents out of my piggy bank and the 75 cents I'll earn this week, I'll be able to buy a beautiful little purse that I've been looking at. The pink pig was surprised. He knew Susie had put the coins in the back to save for the missionary. The Lord's money, she had called it. He was disappointed. He did not wink his funny little eye at her, nor twitch his curly little tail. Now that it, not that it mattered, because Susie did not look at him now. She walked kind of sideways when she went out of the room. Susie hurried to the store where she had seen the purse that she wanted. All the way to the store, it seemed like a little voice kept saying inside of her, but you are using God's money. You promised God eight cents a week. I am not. I've been putting extra money in that pig more than I had to. And, and when you put the coins in the piggy bank, you said it was for the missionary you know you did. You could wait and buy that purse later. You know you could, but tomorrow is Sunday, and I want that new purse to carry to the church tomorrow. So Susie bought the purse. The next day, her Sunday school teacher said, I have a lovely surprise for you. She handed each one a picture of a boy in India saying, this is the little baby our Sunday school is going to adopt. We will be sending our missionary money to care for him. Remember, next Sunday is the day we bring our special offering. Then she said, do you remember about the little rice cakes? The missionary said they'd like to buy these as an extra treat whenever they have enough money. Let's try to send so much money for our baby that there will be some left over for a treat for each of the children in the mission. Yes, yes, the boys and girls chorused. That is, they all chorused except Susie. She just lowered her head. When she did, she saw the new purse on her lap. Only now it didn't look nearly as beautiful as it did in the store. When Susie got home, she went straight to her room and stood before Pinky. Pinky, she said, you know, I spent all my pay for this week, and I shook some of God's money out of you to buy this purse. Susie wasn't sure, but she thought Pinky grunted. Yes, I know, I know. Well, Pinky, she said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all of my earnings in your bet next Saturday. That will pay back the 75 cents that I think I stole. Mm, pay the eight cents I always put in on Saturdays when I get my pay. Only I didn't yesterday. So I'll have to put in 16 cents. Let's see now, Pinky. How much extra will I be giving if I put my whole 75 cents in your back? Wait a minute. I'll have to figure this out on paper. It took Susie quite a while to figure out how much extra money she would be giving. She was just beginning to learn addition and subtraction in school. But she did it. She would be giving 34 cents extra. Well, Pinky, I guess that's not too bad. I wonder... 
how much you have in there, Pinky. Next week, I'll shake you again until we get every penny. But just to make sure I never steal God's money from you again, I'm going to paste the picture of this little Indian baby on your side, okay? Pinky was happy about this, of course, so he winked his funny little beady eye and twitched his curly tail and grunted, okay, or at least Susie thought he did. Susie's big brother helped her shake Pinky the next Saturday, and the coins rolled all over her white bedspread. When they counted the coins, they found Pinky had $9.10 in his fat little tummy. Susie tried to put the money in her new purse, but she couldn't get it all in for the beautiful purse was too small. So Susie carried the Pinky money to Sunday school in her old purse. It was heavy, but her heart was light and happy, very, very happy. Afterwards, Pinky was just as fat as ever, only he didn't weigh nearly so much. But he stood on Susie's desk all ready, all ready to gain weight. Winky, wink, he wanted to wink his beady eye and twitch his funny curly tail for Susie, or at least she thought he did. Every man, as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly, or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. 2 Corinthians 9, 7. Do you love Jesus enough that you would be willing to give a special offering for him so that you can help missionaries and maybe help the church? We should give 10%. That's one penny out of every 10 cents to Jesus. And then we can... Maybe even give a little extra for missionaries. So pray if the Lord will help you to give some money for the church and maybe some extra for missionaries. Maybe you can help your mommy and daddy in the house and they can give you a little bit to be able to give in the offering. Let's pray that we can love Jesus and give to him as Jesus wants. Will you pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you for the story of mm, this little pink pig. Help us to learn the story to give cheerfully and not say that we're going to give, but then use it for something else, but to give to make you happy and to glorify you so others can know about Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, this will be our last story for this week until Sunday morning. About 9 o'clock in the morning or 9.15, I'll put up a new story from the Bible, a Bible story. And then about 10 o'clock, we'll go on and have a time of worship and praise for the Lord and some teaching from the Bible in Spanish for the whole church and your whole family. I hope you'll join us on Sunday at 9 to 9.30 in the morning. We'll do the Sunday school. And then at 10 o'clock, we'll have a church time. Thank you for being with us. Have a good day.